One of the common questions that I get over on my website and in comments here on some of my videos here on the channel has to do with when you start cutting, when can you start cutting, or when should you start cutting the grass that is growing from seed in your yard. Now I have other videos on this channel where I have addressed this topic, but I don't have a major lawn renovation video where I go into this topic and that's why I want to go into it today. This lawn right here has been newly seeded. We killed the entire lawn off. There's actually a playlist linked in the description below where you can follow the progress of this lawn throughout the 2022 season. We killed the entire lawn off and then we went ahead and seeded in the middle of the spring a turf type tall fescue and fine fescue mix. We've been babying it along all spring long and at this point, all of the grass here, or at least the vast majority of it, has been growing for approximately three weeks now. This is the appropriate time to start cutting the grass because we wanna train that grass into a good stable height. Also, every single time we cut that blade, especially in the very beginning when the grass is very young, we are stimulating spreading. We are stimulating the spreading of the grass whether it be a rhizomatic, a stoloniferous, or uh, a bunch type grass that tillers out into a wider, thicker plant, we want to stimulate that process. We don't want the grass blades reaching up into the heavens. We want them reaching up to, I don't know, a reasonable point and then spreading wide. We want a thick grass. We don't want a tall, thin, gangly lawn. What you see here is predominantly turf type tall fescue with some fine mix in. Turf type tall fescue does very well when it's cut in that three and a half to four inch range, pretty much the top end of your lawnmower. Whatever your lawnmower goes all the way up to, that's what turf type tall fescue likes being cut at. Right now, only a handful of the blades are that tall. So what I'm gonna be doing is cutting them at about half of that somewhere around the one and a half inch range. The reason for that is that's where I want the crowns and the stems of my plant to really start spreading wide. So if I cut it around one and a half inches now, I'm actually gonna be getting some grass clippings onto the soil, covering up what seeds are still left on the lawn and have not yet germinated. If the grass clippings are sitting on top of the seeds, then whatever seeds are left in the lawn are more likely to germinate at some point over the next month or so, whether we're sprinkling the lawn seven times a day or once every two days. This is a good transitionary period where we move out of multiple times a day irrigation sessions to once a day irrigation sessions. And in a week or two, then we're gonna start moving into every other day watering sessions where we're really doing deeper watering to push root growth deeper into the ground. All of the clippings that we're gonna be putting onto the soil, as I said before, will help all of those extra seeds that haven't quite yet germinated yet to finish the process. Now, one of the main tips that I can give you when it comes to cutting baby grass, like very immature sprouts that might have one, two, or three leaves coming off of it, is to cut the grass with the most delicate lawnmower you can possibly find. Find yourself a very light rotary mower. The lightest rotary mowers tend to be battery units. They're in that very narrow size range. These are usually the cheapest battery mowers you can find, but if you use one of those, make sure to take the mower blade off and give it the sharpest edge you possibly can. I have a video linked in the description all about how to give your mower blade the sharpest edge possible. But even better than that, is to run off to the store and buy one of the real mowers that just happens to be stocked in your store shelves. It doesn't have to be fancy. You can literally buy the cheapest real mower possible, which might run you around $60 to $80, depending on what model is available and where you're shopping at. Real mowers cut with a scissor action. So instead of a rotary mower swiping at your grass blades, which could uproot some of the baby blades, the scissor action of a real mower will cut those blades very cleanly without any pressure on the immature root systems of the grass. Now I use battery mowers and I have some ultra small battery mowers, but I'm not gonna use them on this lawn because I also own a real mower. Now I've set my real mower to around one and a half inches. I can't tell for sure exactly where it's at, but it's right in the middle. 
it's not set to the lowest setting and it's not set to the highest setting. So it's gonna be somewhere in that one and a half inch range. I'm gonna be cutting a good chunk of the grass that you see here. I'm not gonna be cutting all of it, however. Only the tallest, most mature blades of them all. I'm gonna start the mowing process and the mowing pattern of, mo of cutting this grass every single week, really for the next four to six weeks or so before I slowly start bringing the height of cut up. Because this is turf type tall fescue, I want to eventually get this height of cut into the three inch range, possibly more. My real mower doesn't go any higher than around two and a quarter to two and a half inches. So eventually, towards mid to late summer, I'll be using my actual rotary mower. At that point, we're gonna have extremely thick grass that has matured quite a bit, and it'll be able to stand up to a rotary mower just fine. All right, now if you're cutting grass for the very first time, like baby grass for the first time, then you probably also have some questions having to do with watering that baby grass, fertilizing that baby grass, and maybe preventing infestations of disease or insects. I have videos on all of these topics linked in the description below, as well as some written documentation over on the Turf Mechanic website. I highly suggest that you take a look at those resources. But the next video that you should watch is linked right up here in the corner. It's about starter fertilizers. Maybe you've already applied a starter fertilizer to your lawn, but when the baby grass sprouts up, a lot of those sprouts are still living on the nutrients that are in the seed itself. If you haven't applied a starter fertilizer, please watch this video next.